Hi, uh, welcome to a little mini vlog. We're going to be doing a little two day project together where I am going to hunt down more magazines so that in the future I will be able to put together more of these, what was I calling it? Retro redo. Retro redo. I think I know the exact place that I need to go. Let's go run some errands. We're going to hit up the antique mall, you guys. We have arrived to the Pacific Run Antique Mall. I think this is the one that has the magazines. I really hope it is. If not, the other one's just down the street, but um, I felt like it took me a really long time to get here <laughs> for some reason. I always go the back ways because I try to avoid major highways. So let's do it. Okay, so the first thing that I went in there for was this entire rack of magazines that were usually there. This is why I came and it was empty. But she did steer me towards this other seller who had all of these vintage magazines and they just happened to be 50% off. I kept coming back to this stack of luggage in the corner right by the register. I walked away from it and I went and looked around a little bit. I saw this makeup train case. As you guys know, I am on the hunt for train cases and I loved the look of this, but it was missing the insert. That was 20% off, so I took it to the register thinking that I was going to end up getting it but it was $45. I also saw this tray, which I considered getting, and a record that I just thought was hilarious and I had to share it. It's such a dad joke. I came back to the luggage again and I kept staring at that middle one. Stay tuned for tomorrow when I show you guys what I ended up coming home with from the antique mall. So here's the magazine that I got yesterday and it is actually a 1959 Marilyn Monroe cover life magazine. I just wanted to show you my favorite, a couple of my favorite things in this book. It says TV 1960 style. <laughs> it sure is. Don't we just love the design of 1960s furniture? It's so much cuter. You know what I mean? Like, wouldn't it be cool if like our flat screens could fit inside something like that? If somebody can come up with that, that would be great. Look at this car. Oh my gosh. So much alcohol in <laughs> these old magazines. I thought this one was interesting because it's like, hey honey, can you grab me a Schlitz? The seven up one though, I think is really cute and might be really fun to remake. So I'm gonna bookmark it. I have these little bookmarking tabs. I'm not gonna show you all of them because I want some of these to be a surprise. There's actually about five in here that I can remake, which is great because I wanted these magazines be, you know, multi-use. I don't want just one ad out of a magazine. I need several. I thought this was really cool. This is a woman doing yoga. They said a yoga fan is two minutes of standing on her head. It bathes the brain, she says, like shaking a bottle. I know yoga has been around for a really long time. I just didn't know that people were putting it in Life Magazine in 1959. Now it's like in every household. Here's Marilyn Monroe jumping, <laughs> like it has no feet. Audrey Hepburn, Sophia Loren, Marilyn Monroe, Bridget Bardot. Oh, it's so cute. They're all jumping. So this is the one I'm thinking about doing today because I got Samsonite luggage. It looks very similar to this, which I'm just thinking, is mine actually from this time? Because it looks identical to this. Like as far as the shape, it's this exact same piece of luggage. Now what I wouldn't do to find this, oh my gosh. <laughs> But what I'm looking at here is the fact that this luggage is called a wardrobe. It's 
And that is what I paid for the luggage today. So if this was worth $24.95 then, in today's money, this would be a $276 piece of luggage if it was like conversion of price. Now that I know that this luggage exists to match this and that I have this, I'm going to take a photo of my luggage and put it on Google Lens to see if I can do a web search on any information I can find about it and be on the hunt for the train case. Ideally, I would like it if the train case had this piece in it because anytime I look for train cases, for instance, the one that I almost got yesterday, which actually looks a lot like this, it was missing this part and it was a little bit too expensive for me. It was almost $50 and you can find these thrifting for a lot less than that. So I just felt like it was a little bit too marked up, especially considering the other booth was selling this piece for 24. I'm gonna go top up my coffee, that looks absolutely disgusting, and put myself together to begin a really fun day of making a retro redo. Retro redo! First thing to do is gonna be finding this outfit. We're gonna look for a purple lavender dress, purple corduroy. Thank you, very nice, this one. This looks like the same, no, kind of. I know the exact one I'm looking for. Where is it? So strange, I just moved a pile of clothing and I looked down and this was laying on the floor. That's just really weird. It looks like I had this for sale in my store. This is why I need to stop putting vintage in my store now that I'm doing these. I have some dresses that are vintage that actually do fit me. And for some reason I was just like, I'm over it. And I threw them all in my store. I don't know why. This has got to come back out. This was one, don't, don't come at me please. I know that people get really upset when you cut stuff, but I just cannot with the length of some of the dresses. And so I gave this ruffles, um, but yeah. This is the dress I think that will be the best because it is that really nice purple lavender. Now I need a suede belt, which I know I definitely have. This one right here. Oh yeah. That's the belt right there. And then I don't, I know I don't have a yellow coat like that, but I do have a coat with that similar shape. It's got that kind of capelet style to it and that's this Marc Jacobs one so I think this will be perfect and it looks like uh she's got on pink gloves which <laughs> do I have I have some red gloves here's all of my glove and hat accessories and I actually believe I put gloves in here here's some red ones which I think will do Let's give her a little button up okay and then here's the belt Now, as we can see, she has blue eyeshadow and hot pink lips. This is gonna be fun. to the luggage portion of this video. This one stood out to me because of the just amazing color 
and the border being this like kind of cream off-white and the inside you have to see the inside look at that <gasps> it's so beautiful and we are going to be going on a road trip this summer and I was thinking how perfect would this be for a road trip because my luggage right now is either too small or too big I found the matching train case and it's $44 that's the price of the luggage that I didn't get well it didn't match this anyway and I was thinking I wanted to try to find the matching one so now that I see this I'm gonna screenshot it Google Lens search to see if it's for sale anywhere cheaper and if not I might be ordering this exact one. Look, I found the I found the luggage and that is about 60 anywhere from 45 to 60. Um there's a set for 80. So if anybody wants to have the same luggage as me, you can Ah, there's the case again. I'm so excited to put this all together. <laughs> The shoot is done and I think it turned out pretty good from what I can see. I'm not going to know for sure until I have the uh, photos all sketched together. I got, ended up getting really hot in the sweater so I was like, huh, I can't do this. Like I wasn't having fun anymore because I was miserable. I actually think the photos look better with it off anyway. I'm willing to make that sacrifice that it's not going to be exact. The luggage isn't exact, the hair is not exact, the gloves aren't exact. That's okay. It's just to be inspired by. I'm still contemplating too if I'm going to make it look cartoony or if I'm going to just look like myself in a photo. So that's going to be the next thing to do. If I do that, it's going to read very early Disney. You know, when they like put people in cartoons like in Mary Poppins, that's what I'm thinking of. That'll make me look like a Mary Poppins inside of a cartoon, but it's gonna be fun to edit together So the next step is to scan this into my printer and then get it on my computer so that I can edit it in Canva I'm gonna insert it up here but the photo was a tricky one it was a tricky one I feel like I feel like it came out really good and I'm really happy with it I love the luggage it's not completely accurate to the photo when I'm showing a little bit of leg but I wanted to look cute too and I kept taking pictures when I was standing up when I was behind the luggage when I was in front of the luggage when I was next to the luggage and nothing looked good until I sat next to it and that's when I was like okay now the dress because it the dr I think it was just you couldn't see the dress it was getting hidden behind things it wasn't reading vintage yeah I really think it came out good this was a fun project I have so many of these tagged and ready and there's one in particular that I have placed an order for that I'm very excited about and I'm not going to be able to tell you guys what it is until it gets here. So just know that there's a really good one coming and there's um, an order has been placed for a prop that's gonna come. All right, you guys, that is it for today's retro redo in this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a very big weekend of doing some makeup on a bride. We'll just have to see what we can come up with next week for some vintage -y content and thrifty stuff, of course. But otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a like, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.